Yo, what's up everyone? I'm back with another tournament replay and this tournament replay is from a tournament called BLT, the best leaderboards tournament. And what it basically is, is that there's a leaderboard in the tournament's room and the top players of that leaderboard get to participate in another tournament. So it's basically like the best of the best. And right now I'm playing in that tournament and I'm playing against Kither in Little Cup. And Kither is actually the Little Cup Circuit Champion right now. So this is obviously going to be a pretty tough game and it's going to be really, really interesting. And I decided to go with a little bit of an unorthodox team and I'm using Omanite. And a lot of people hate Omanite. They think it's unviable. They think it's bad. But I actually really like Omanite. And one of the reasons I like Omanite is that it's a Vullaby check but it can't be trapped by Diglett or even Trap Inch. And the reason is because of Hydro Pump. Omanite has a really good uh, special attack stat, and along with Hydro Pump, it means you can't be trapped. So for example, Vullaby can U-turn on Onyx, and Trap Inch can trap Onyx, and all of a sudden you don't have your Vullaby check anymore, right? But Omanite cannot be trapped like that. And that's the main advantage of using Omanite. So I built a team with Omanite, and I have Dragon Dance Protect Scraggy, and Protect is good for, you know, Grookey, it's good for Mianfu, it's good for Trap Inch, which coincidentally, he has all three of those, so Scraggy with Protect is nice. I also have Abra with Protect, and that's again good for Fake Out, it's good for First Impression. And I'm using Offensive Coughing, Offensive Vullaby with Heat Wave, and a Standard Pharaoh Seed. And one thing that I really like to do on Omanite is I like to run Blizzard on Omanite. Blizzard on Omanite lets you hit Grass types and it lets you hit Vullaby and it's pretty strong too. So that's basically my team. And on team preview, I think I'm doing pretty well because you know, uh, Coughing has a good matchup versus Mianfu, Fungus, Grookey. You know, Scraggy can put in work especially because it has Protect. Pharaoh Seed can wall Fungus and Vullaby has Heat Wave for Ponyard. So at the beginning of the game, I'm thinking I have a pretty decent matchup. So I lead coughing, predicting Mianfu, and my prediction ended up being right. And he uses Fake Out, not a big deal. And I use Will-O-Wisp, and I, he actually reveals that I am faster than him. And I really, really hate slow Mianfu. I don't think it's very good. And one of the reasons it's not good is because it's slower than coughing. It's also slower than Vullaby, it's slower than Ponyard, it's slower than, you know, Porygon. I really don't like slow Mianfu, and this is one of the reasons why. I'm actually able to outspeed him right now, and now he uses U-Turn, and that's a really big problem for him because of neutralizing gas, which means his regenerator doesn't actually work. So he ends up taking 43, he gets burnt, and, you know, my coughing, meanwhile, he took 28. You know, it's not really a big deal right now. I got knocked off, but... It's really not worth it, and I would have liked to have seen him use a faster Mianfu, because then you can U-turn before you take damage. So I don't really like uh, slow Mianfu at all. But he goes into Vullaby here, and coughing is relatively bulky, so I have a choice right now. I can stay in and Will-O-Wisp, or I can go to Omanite, and I decide to actually go to Omanite. And the reason I, I decide to go to Omanite is because I cannot be trapped. I'm not scared of U-turn, because if he U-turns, he's not going to go Trap Inch. He's going to go Grookey, but Grookey is handled by Pharaoh Seed, Vullaby, Coughing. He can go Fungus, but Fungus is handled by Pharaoh Seed. So I, I really don't have to make a bold prediction, you know? I can stay in even if he U-turns. So he does U-turn, but I don't really care, right? And he goes Grookey here. And I don't know if he knows this, I haven't talked to him, but I don't know if he knows I was Blizzard Omanite, and Blizzard can one-shot Grookey, but I don't know if he knows that I can one-shot him. So I thought about it for a while, do I try and predict him? Like, if he predicts Pharaoh Seed, he might knock off or Swords Dance, if he predicts Coughing, maybe he'll Woodhammer, if he predicts Vullaby, maybe he'll knock off. I really don't know what he's thinking right now, so I decide to play it safe. I could have Blizzard, but instead I play it safe and I go to Pharaoh Seed. And he uses Swords Dance here. And then he uses Woodhammer, which I didn't understand. So I'm assuming he expected me to predict Drain Punch, maybe? He expected me to switch out? But from my point of view, I didn't need to switch out. Because even if he had Drain Punch, I still survive, and I can still Thunder Wave. 
So I'm not sure if he tried to predict me or what exactly was going on, but this worked out well for me as I now paralyzed his Grookey. So that worked out well for me. And I just get a spike up here as he goes to Vullaby. And now I switch to Omanite and he defogs, right? And again, Omanite is in a really good spot right now. I can Stealth Rock here, I can Blizzard, I have a lot of options right now. But ultimately, I decide to just get my Stealth Rock up as he goes to Fungus. And right now, I get Stealth Rock up. And I go Pharaoh Seed here. And he can... Because he's walled, he's going to probably double switch to Mianfu. And I knew this would happen. So I really wanted to Hydro Pump staying in. Like on this turn, I really wanted to... After I got Rocks up, I really wanted to stay in and Hydro Pump, but I decided it wasn't worth the risk even though I was predicting Mianfu. He, so he goes Mianfu, and then I go Coughing, and the reason I go Coughing is I denied the Regenerator. So he U-turns, but he doesn't get his uh, Regen health. He goes to Vullaby again, and again, I go Omanite here. And you can see how good Omanite is because I don't have to be scared of Trap Inch at all. If he U-turns, I don't care. So that's really... Like, it doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but just the freedom of my plays. I don't have to make aggressive predicts. I can stay in because I know that I cannot be trapped by Trap Inch. So he U-turns, uh, good for him. He goes to, I believe, Grookey. Yeah, he goes to Grookey here. And again, I have another opportunity to use Blizzard here, but I decide to, you know, uh, play it safe. So I just decide to go to Pharaoh Seed here. And he switches to Ponyard. And Ponyard was a good play from him because it covered all of my options, right? So Grookey is checked by Coughing, Wallaby, and Pharaoh Seed, right? But Ponyard beats all three of these. So he made a really good play of going Ponyard to try and cover all of my potential switch-ins. And the reason why Ponyard beats Pharaoh Seed is that I don't necessarily want to get knocked off by Ponyard. So I'm kind of forced out. So right now I decide to just uh, switch to Scraggy. And here I made a strategic uh, decision. Scraggy is typically a sweeper, right? But I don't really have any switch into Ponyard. Like I do have Heatwave Vullaby. I can go Omanite with Hydro Pump. I could stay in and Thunder Wave even. I had a lot of options, right? But I decided to let my sweeper get knocked off. So I lose my berry juice here. And my idea, like my thought process, was basically that his team is pretty slow. I don't need a dragon dance to beat his team. I can do just fine with just knock off and high jump kick. I don't need dragon dance to beat him. I don't need to sweep for Scraggy to make a lot of you know progress, right? So I decided to just, you know, go Scraggy here and I play it safe again. I high jump kick the Fungus. I could have predicted him, but I didn't feel the need to. And here I made a bit of a mispredict. Uh, not a mispredict, a misplay rather. I have Protect on Scraggy. So what I could have done was I could have stalled out the grassy terrain turns and used Protect now and knock off the next turn. But I misplayed and I didn't make that play. And what ends up happening is that he uses Giga Drain, but the Giga Drain is boosted by grassy terrain. So I take more damage than I needed to take. So I did misplay there. So a slight misplay from me, yeah. And now I go Pharaoh Seed on the Fungus here, and he uses Synthesis fine. He goes Vullaby, and I predict the switch, and I get the knockoff here. So it loses its item. And right now I'm thinking I'm pretty good. Vullaby is knocked off, Mianfu is burnt, Grookey is paralyzed, you know. I'm thinking I'm pretty good, but I... In the next play, you can see why Omanite is kind of bad. So, compared to Trap Inch, I mean, compared to Onyx, I don't get trapped by Trap Inch, that's true. But I'm also a lot less bulky than Onyx, and I'm a lot slower than Onyx. So I get knocked off here, and even though I'm going to get weak armor, I'm still slower than the Vullaby. So Vullaby just gets a, gets a kill on the Omanite. So, uh, just to go back to that, I had an Omanite at 72 switch into Vullaby, and I'm the one who ends up losing, you know? So I kind of wasted my flying resist, right? So you can uh, see why Omanite is not the perfect Pokemon, obviously. It does have its flaws, right? But you can see what it did. 
versus Trap Inch. Trap Inch could never trap me, but also I wasn't as bulky as I could be. And that really hurt versus that Wallaby. So I went from a good position and now I'm thinking I'm a, in a little bit of a bad position versus this Wallaby. I don't really have a switch in. I go to Wallaby here and I lose my item in exchange for using Brave Bird on his Wallaby. So a somewhat of an equal trade, I would say. I lose my item, and but his Wallaby dies. And he goes to Ponyard, and I don't really have a Ponyard switch in. You know, I have Coughing, I guess, you know, Pharaoh Seed, kind of. Straggy, kind of, you know. But I am Heat Wave Wallaby, so I decide to get chip damage on the Ponyard. So I get Heat Wave damage, and I actually burn the Ponyard, and this changes the game completely. So before, it was kind of like Ponyard was a really good offensive breaker versus my team, and I was going to kind of struggle versus a Ponyard. But now that it's burned, I can handle it really easily, and he loses his uh, most powerful offensive threat. Mianfu is burned, Grookey is paralyzed. He loses his biggest threat now with Ponyard also getting burned. So really, really unfortunate, and this, it was a 50-50 game right now. But after that burn, it completely tilted in my favor. So he uses Iron Head, but it only does 31. So it's really not doing a lot of damage. And then I go Pharaoh Seed to get Iron Barb's damage on that Ponyard. And then I go back to Vullaby. I go back to Vullaby so I can get hit by Knockoff and I get the speed boost again. So that burn really killed his momentum right now. He pivots into Fungus and he gets hit by Heat Wave, which is fine. And then he goes to Mianfu to sacrifice it. So Mianfu gets sacrificed, and I'm really in a dominant position after that uh, Ponyard burn. So he goes Trap Inch, I go Coughing on the first impression. I take a uh, considerate damage 14%, and I get Fire Blast chip damage on uh, Trap Inch. And what that damage lets me do, it puts Trap Inch in range of Giga Drain. So he uses super power, he doesn't do enough damage, I heal back the damage, and now the game is basically over. So he goes to Ponyard right now, he uses knockoff, but uh, iron barbs plus giga drain plus burn damage, and Ponyard dies, and now the game is over, and he forfeits. And the reason he forfeits is because nothing can beat Abra. Fungus will die to Abra, and Grookey is... Uh, Paralyzed, and it can only get one shot versus Focus Sash Abra. So, a pretty interesting game, like a very, uh, very dynamic game. But the issue was that in a 50 50 situation, he got burnt. And after that, the game was over, which I was fortunately able to win. So, yeah, this is a pretty interesting LC game between where I played one of the top Little Cup players. And if you want to see more of this type of content, make sure to subscribe and then also comment down below what you want to see next. Uh, but yeah, thank you.